tax more, you collect less. And, and even as you come in, because he's raised quite a couple of important issues, and I'd like you to perhaps expound on uh, the issue about the Chief Administrative Secretaries, because the National Government Administration Laws Amendment Bill 2023 was tabled in Parliament. We might see the reintroduction, if it sails through, the reintroduction of CASs. Mm. You just mentioned that they're speaking as it is. The government is broke and it's a pat on their back. But on the other side, we're not moving as if we're broke. If we are seeking to add more uh, seats, you know, CASs, there's no cap, by the way, yeah. on the number of CASs that might mm. be appointed by the president. I mean, you know, the way KRA is following up on people's <laughs> social media activity, that there are people who are billionaires on social media but in terms of paying taxes it's mm. zero isn't that perhaps uh, a little bit comparable to the mm. government we are broke yes but in terms of how we are moving as a government we're living large, mm. uh, we're living large yeah? yeah before addressing the issue of the cs yeah Owila has committed a murder let me address that issue first before the evidence disappears okay he is saying that uh, the current administration is taking loans in truckloads now, what he's not telling you that's data. Yeah, but what he's not telling you is that uh, President Kenyatta's ad administration had an insatiable appetite for commercial debt. Kenya Kwanza is not taking commercial debt. Kenya Kwanza is taking concessionary debt from IMF and World Bank. It's not from uh, commercial banking, which is normally very expensive. Mm. Secondly, the portfolio of our debt is on the rise because of the forex fluctuation that our shilling is losing, uh, it's getting bitter uh, every single day. Yeah. Actually, for parents who are paying for studies or something abroad, when you look at the shilling today is 159, you start scratching your head. You may not even need a barber because the scratch alone, mm -hmm. your, your, your head disappears. Right. Mm -hmm. Again, the current governor for Central Bank says the previous governor made uh, policy mistakes. That uh, the, the Kenyan shilling was... Uh, there's this yes. word that, uh, you know, babysitting, that it was something artificial. Now they, they have left the vagaries of uh, the market. So it's, uh, there is that fluctuation. Again, that's not something that you can uh, blame the, the current administration. And, and I know Oila has got capacity to maneuver around these uh, numbers and make everybody believe that, in fact, we are in a very horrible space. Mm -hmm. When uh, President uh, Ruto took office, Gashagwa made a statement, the deputy president made a statement at Kasarani, and people said, where I mean, what did he say? He said, we have gone to the store and there is no money. Mm -hmm. So the current administration, they are reviewing, they are cleaning tables. Now let's come to this germane issue that uh, you've raised about the CIS. What is the duty of a leader? A leader number one is supposed to create the overall picture, the vision of where they want the organization to go. Mm -hmm get talent mm -hmm. to actualize uh, that vision and allocate financial resources. So the president in his wisdom says every cabinet secretary needs a CIS. So in, initially there was a procedure which was uh, stopped by the, by the courts and now they will brought amendments to the act that you've read which is going to be subjected to the people's representatives mm -hmm. at the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. So the people's representative at the National Assembly we love the last word. If they think the position for CIS needs to be part of the deal, they will say yes. If they think it's not part of the deal, they will say no. You cannot blame uh, the president for saying that every cabinet secretary needs uh, an assistant. And in any event, when you're talking about this amount of money, it's not as if that it's going to be so huge that, that it will have a material effect in the general accounts. This gentleman has just been saying that you need enough talent, you need enough capital to run uh, these organizations. So these people are going to, to get these roles, and I don't see anything wrong with that. However, what we must do is, for anybody who's been given a public position, we must establish what are their key performance indicators, because we know there are a number of uh, public servants who are not held liable for the performance of their office. You said you are going to discuss about it later on, but uh, there's been a power blackout in Kenya today, mm. a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering whether there's somebody who is going to be penalized for that? Whether there is somebody who will go to the office tomorrow and he'll be told, boss, pole, pole, pole. Now we are having a crisis meeting, we'll call you, and somebody is going to face discipline. Because part of the tragedy in Kenya, people can literally commit murder. 
and they whistle to a bar, they go and have pepper steak and whiskey, and nothing happens. Okay. There so, must be consequences uh -huh. for errors of both omission and, and commission. commission. So, in short, what you're saying, and allow me to echo the words of Ndindi Nyoro. He said that the salaries of the CASs are negligible. Others add, I think that's Beatrice Elachi, who said the CASs will be, taying ta will be paying taxes. So, it's a win-win for the government either way. So, you don't question the timing of this particular move, bearing in mind the high public wage bill that we're currently dealing with as a country. I will not go with the Didi Nyoro's okay. uh, explanation yeah. or even uh, Elachi's. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, no, Elachi's explanation looks a bit uh, mm -hmm. voodoo or ridiculous. That let's give everybody a job and then they're going to pay taxes. No. <laughs> In my view, we should be asking ourselves, when these people get roles, what will be their contribution to baking this cake? You remember at some stage the DP indicated that uh, when he wants to meet with the cabinet secretaries, mm -hmm. he, he can't find them. Others land at JKI, if there's no blackouts, they change, there's a change of breast, then they go to another place. He said at some stage he was going to open an ASK show, but he couldn't find the Minister for Agriculture. Mm -hmm. So my view is, you know, right now it's very fashionable, wherever there's any policy pronouncement by the administration, to say, ah, wangalia, tena. Because, you know, everybody right now, Will has demonstrated that it's very fashionable to criticize everything. Mm -hmm. But let's ask ourselves, what do they bring to the table? And what did we see CASs bring into the table during the uh, Uhuru administration? They were mostly used perhaps to cut and raise for the cabinet and secretaries speeches. in events, <laughs> speeches and whatnot. Mm. So there are a lot of questions in terms of the efficacy of this position. Yeah, yeah. those are the questions we must ask. And when the National Assembly invites people to present their views, mm -hmm. I would expect a will here to go and present this position and say that our CIS are going to pay them, um, I don't know, Maybe it's 800,000. Yeah. So if they're going to be 50, it's this amount of money. Okay. This money, you should use it to uh, set up a facility in Migori to increase my probability of becoming an MP, something like that. <laughs> Instead of just saying that they're a waste of time. Interesting. So we're talking a lot about...